Right, good morning. We are, we've had a little bit of a, a complaint as such. So the, the patio that you saw us um, doing a couple of videos ago, the grey uh, porcelain patio, customer was happy all the way through, over the moon with it, and then we did the grouting. Um, and they, they, what they've done is they've picked up on the grouting side of it um, and just said that the grouting is, is ever so slightly lower in the joint than what they'd like. So we've gone back around, we've had a little look at it. To me, to free on a professional capacity, we think it's, it's absolutely fine. We don't see anything wrong with it. Um, <clears throat> explain to the client that, uh, you know, when you do a joint, it, it will sit slightly lower than the slab, especially when you're sponging it off to get rid of your grout. So, you know, we've said it's acceptable. They said, they, they, they're saying it's not, but they're happy with everything else. So to try and keep the clients happy, um, we've asked them what they want us to do. And what they want us to do is, they want us to um, go back, disc out certain sections of the grout and try and get it raised up a little bit. But you are talking literally about a mil, a mil and a half. Um, so it, it, it's next to nothing. So. Yeah, I mean, we what you want to leave jobs and you want to make people happy, and they were happy all the way through. I'm, and I'm always conscious about um, making people happy and making sure they're happy. And we, we, we go through this, I would do diligence all the way through to to tick those boxes. And uh, they were happy when he was finished over the moon, and then he phoned and said, uh, you know, obviously they got a concern, so they're obviously concerned about it. They obviously, um, you know discontented about that certain element of the patio so we've we got to go back as a business this is what you've got to do this is the real side of running a business we're gonna have a little look at it we're gonna do our absolute damnedest to keep our uh, clients happy so we get on site show you what's what and uh, yeah take it from there so yeah we're on site just had a cup of tea um, so these are the areas these red bits are the, the bits of the customers highlighted that they're um, that they want changed so there we are that's the plan he's drawn us so let's go and have a take you around and have a little look at some of these areas which bit free this joint here that bit there so that's it there so that's one bit should we show me another bit that's another bit you're looking at in here next and you're looking at this bit in here in there look so that's that so those little bits right when you when you're here and you look at it they to us they look acceptable although i will be honest there are a tiny little couple of little bits when we've gone over it now looking at it in the when it's all set and it's our time to, to set and everything and it does there are it's, it's a very very small amount isn't it yeah. but what we've explained to the customer is you're dealing with um an acceptable tolerance so, you know, when you've got a grout going in, it's, it is going to shrink a little bit. Um, you know, some of it, when you pull a sponge over it, it is going to um, take a little bit more off than the other bit. And you're talking a, a, a thickness of a fag paper, you know, the like a gnat's whisker, um, a millimetre, millimetre and a half. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to disc all these areas out and we're going to do it, put it back as, as good and as flush to the top what they want as, as what we feasibly can. Um, basically because we want to you know we want to try and please happy with the, with the rest of the work um, you know there's nothing wrong with the rest of it. it's just these little bits of the grout and it's annoying them so we're gonna do it um, and we're gonna show you as to how we're gonna do it and hopefully at the end when they come out they're happy so we're gonna start disking so let's get on with it Well, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. You can obviously tell by my voice because I am not a happy camper. We've come up here, we've dropped everything this morning to uh, to do this for these clients because we want to make them happy and we've disked everything out from the back. And it's a day where we've meticulously picked because it's not supposed to rain and it is now pouring down with rain yet again and it looks like we're going to have to pack up, pack up leave them a a disked out patio and come back again so 
Oh, God. Right. The rain miraculously stopped. Somebody must be looking down on it. So you've got these little bits now. Look, there's one there. There is another there. And it's just little tiny bits. Another one there. She disked it out successfully. I was panicking about um, marking and scorching the slab with a disc cutter, but uh, managed to do it. So the rain's gone, so we're going to mix some grout up and put it back in and redo it and get it done, get out of here, get a customer happy, basically. So Fraser's mixing up the grout now. If you remember, you watched the video, I'll put a link at the top of the screen somewhere for the original uh, job that we did on this patch. You can watch the whole video if you want to, but Fraser's mixing it up now. It was the, uh, what's the grout called, Frey? It's the Flexi... Fuga Pave Flexi CH Grout, which we've used a couple of times before and had great success with it. With it, I like it. It's a nice product. View of your ball patch for you. <laughs> what ball patch? That bright red thing on your head. <laughs> Grouch back in now. Did it all in one hit. So you can see the hazy bits. Fraser's just trying to keep it off the slab. So what we'll do, we'll uh, let it set, get to the sponging bit, and uh, Hopefully all works out. No. <laughs> it's starting to rain again. I really do honestly want to feel like crying. If it does rain and it ruins it, I think I might go down Barry Island, dig a big hole, bury myself, and then when the tide comes in, it'll just, just cover me over. Simple as that, really. It's now pouring out with rain quite bad, so... So uh, our first pass now, started raining, we got away with it, and we're doing our second pass now. If anyone's wondering, this is the Pedlo system from Tyler t Tyler's Tools. Uh, you can get it online if you want from Raymondi or whatever they're bloody called. So what we do, we just put that in the water, get all the excess water off with our foot pedal, and then just use them that sponge just use the weight of the sponge to just drag over the top and uh, get rid of all the grout basically whilst not taking the grout out of the joint in a fray so it's had two passes so you get this haze on it that's two passes i think on the tyler's tools videos it says you need two passes and it's done but i don't quite find that it, ne it needs multiple passes with the sponge because that's the second pass we've cleaned the water out twice I would only do in small areas, so you can see it's all dusty. Right, I just wanted to show you this, because there's a lot of, well, I say a lot, you can see on some of it where you've got a little tiny bit of lipping on it, so customers pick that up as well. So, what you've got, look, if I put my spirit level there, then the spirit level is showing out of level. And if I put it up here, Spirit level showing absolutely spot on. So when you do this, you've actually got rocking on the slab. So I don't know if you can see underneath the level there, but that's how big it is. So you're probably looking at about two and a half mil where the level's rocking on the slab. And there's a few of them like it. So then when you go over, you kind of pick up on, you know, if you laid them properly. There's a little bit of lip in there if you laid it properly. But then when you've got slabs like that and you're working to such fine tolerances, it's very, very difficult to try and disguise it. So customer's point was to disguise it in the joint of the grouting, which I suppose in a way he's uh, 
you know he has got a point so anyway we've we're just waiting for it to set now we'll get it all back and we'll show you what it's like at the end there we are then job done so yep all the grouting's in well it just needs a little bit of a hose off tomorrow now maybe a bit of fair liquid just to get a bit of the dust off because we have been disking as well so uh yeah we'll jump in the van and we'll uh give you the final assessment now in the van job done then sorted so got them out there um when they first came out there i asked us to do another bit so we had to mix more stuff up get the disc cutters back out which is it's fine it's okay we, we managed to do it um did have a little bit of difficulty explaining um the can the slight camber when we get these porcelain tiles as much as they're lovely and they're great and like anything that's manufactured anywhere um you know nobody's perfect nothing is perfect it's always got that tolerance it's always got that slight discrepancy but what we find is on some of the the 600 by 900 slabs or the longer the longer slabs you do get a slight camber in the middle or what you'll find is on the very edges that that last kind of 150 200 millimeters on the one corner it'll dip off a little bit so you know and it's very difficult then to go on the site and to check and you know to check every single one of them with your level and you know make sure you're you know you're putting ones to one side and then if you do put ones to one side what do you do then charge the customer another 300 quid for buying another x amount of slabs to compensate for any camber that you might or might not have so it's a really difficult one but um i think they're happy with it now we, we went back up there we put a shift in obviously we haven't charged them i just want them to be happy about it but sometimes it's very difficult to get your point across because what's going to happen is you 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 know you do get that very 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 slight lipping um i suppose a lot of some people may just see us accept or some people may not notice other people like me um i'd notice it a mile off um we noticed it whilst we were doing it so we did convey that to the client when we were doing it and uh everything seemed okay but then obviously when we've grouted it, it, it it's identified it even more and they got every right to turn around and say well look you know we're uh can you rectify it, fight it for us? We're happy, we're happy with everything else, just the grouting. So that that's what it was. Everything else was fine. So anyway, it's not all about the decent stuff. It's about uh, it's about doing things. Sometimes you're not getting paid for, and you've got to go back and you've got to put right. So it, we've put it right. We've done it. They're happy. So hopefully they can enjoy their patio. Because on porcelain, if there's a tiny little discrepancy, um, you're going to see it because it's a precision, a precision product and it's a precision install as well. So those two things gotta go together next weekend don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon see you on the next one cheers